Hello and welcome to the Storm Bowling Podcast with myself, Spencer Robarge, and today our guest is Blake Deemore, uh, owner and operator of Blake's Next Level Pro Shop here in Andy B's. Uh, thank you for being here, Blake Deemore. Thanks for having me. So today we're going to talk about bowling balls, um, specifically Storm and Roto Grip new releases. So one of the biggest new releases that's out right now is the Crux Prime. I know that you've drilled one. Uh, go ahead and give us your thoughts on the Crux Prime. Crux Prime is a very different motion than I've ever seen. Um, I happened to never drill one of the original Cruxes because I was on staff with a different company at that time. Um, but this ball motion is, it's, it's hard to describe to be honest. Um, very clean but it doesn't give you that reaction where it kind of wants to quit on the back end when you move left with it. Um, very clean to the heads, but it's still got that pop down lane that you need, but very controllable. Okay. Um, how would you, what would you say like the difference between that and maybe a physics is? Physics or maybe a Sherlock or something like that. What would you say the difference is? I feel like a, between like a physics and a crux prime, the physics is maybe a little quicker up front. Okay. But I mean, with the drawings that I've done on the two that I have, it's very kind of similar motion down lane, but it's just kind of where it sees the pattern, sees the back end of the pattern. Okay. Um, why, why don't we cut away to uh, you throwing the ball real quick? Okay. Yeah, and as you can tell on that motion, um, the ball, you know, it gets through the fronts pretty good and it still has that pop down lane. Um, you know, a lot of these higher end, uh, higher end asymmetric dull bowling balls have a tendency to roll up real quick and kind of die out. Um, I, I drilled a Sherlock and kind of had a little bit of an issue with that. Um, with box on it, changed the surface and it rolled a lot better, but, um, you know, Yours at box surface seems to roll really good. Mm -hmm. um, so, personally, I have not drilled a Crux Prime yet. Um, I only ever had the Crux Pearl, um, and that ball was very, very good, very controllable. So, I will more than likely be drilling a Crux Prime within the next month or two. So, um, and we've actually got a Crux Prime right here. Uh, this is Pro shop friend and staffer of Roto Grip, uh, Matt Hicks, a good pro shop friend with us. This is his Crux Prime. Um, and he absolutely loves the ball just the same way. So, but yeah. So now we've talked about the Crux Prime a little bit. Let's go into a different avenue. Let's talk about the Fever Pitch. Now, Everyone has been talking, you know, oh, this, this new urethane ball, it's, it's different. It's supposed to make our, the people that don't like urethane be able to throw urethane. It gives them something, a different motion. Um, you know, it gives them something different than a pitch black, pitch blue, and the hot cell. Now, I know that you haven't quite gotten yours in the mail yet. Um, I know it's on, a, it's on its way, but what, do you, what are your impressions of the fever pitch since you've you know, you've watched a couple videos of it, seeing what it does down the lane. What do you what do you think of this bowling ball compared to a pitch black? It definitely, from at least seeing what I've seen, at least on videos, and I've actually seen this ball out on tour on the Oklahoma stock because I rolled, rolled, rolled that one. Um, definitely looks like it's very, very, a lot stronger. Um, which sometimes I think that that's definitely going to help when the pitch black just kind of will kind of maybe a little lazy off the spot. Um, but it's definitely something I would need in my bag just because I'm a little bit lower rev rate, or I don't have the rev rate like those guys do. Um, but definitely something I can throw on shorter patterns, or if they're really nasty, I gotta kind of blend the lane a little bit more. Um, your thing really blends it out for me most of the time. Yeah, and I've and I've noticed in your game, whenever you kind of get into a bind, you tend to go to that urethane motion where you can kind of control the pocket, not really give away the head pin too much, and you seem to score pretty well. Do you feel like with this 
fever pitch once you get it. Um, do you feel like you're going to be able to maybe throw that a little bit more than the traditional urethane to bail yourself out? Do you feel like maybe you can see yourself throwing this consistently at a bowling center, or is it still going to be something to bail you out? I think I could use it for a lot more purposes, to be honest. Um, I mean, when I bowl my scratch leg, we're bowling on burn, uh, especially at cent when we go down to Century. Um, that was my get out of jail free card, just throwing the urethane ball, because I could just throw it right down the track and it would still carry. Um, pretty excited about it. Uh, personally, being two handed and left handed, this is a dream come true. Uh, all I hardly throw anymore is urethane because. You know, that's what the left side calls for anymore, so um, definitely going to drill one. Uh, look forward to it coming out, um, I believe six or seven days or something like that. 26th, I believe. 26th. It's either the 22nd or 26th, that's one or the other. So look forward to seeing that ball come out. Um, that's definitely going to be something that we see a lot out, a lot out of. Um, Let's go back uh, to the back to the strong stronger equipment. Um, just, I believe last week uh, we found out about the Halo Pearl, um, the Halo Pearl and the Supersonic, uh, two new releases, Roto and and Storm. Um, what what do you think of the Halo? What what did you think of the Halo and what do you think the Halo Pearl is going to bring? Um, I've actually have not drilled one of those yet, um, but just by looking at it, it it's, it's hooking a box, it, just from what I've seen. Um, probably the only time I'd be able to throw the original one would be on a longer pattern, more volume. Um, but I, I, I will probably be getting a uh, Pearl, just, just so I can try it out and then kind of see what kind of layout I need on the stronger one. Let, let me ask you this, do you, do you personally think that this Halo Pearl might possibly resemble a Code Black type of motion, um, possibly? I know that the, the Code X, the solid, the solid Code Ball from the Code Series and the Halo are completely different, but with those, those um, asymmetric pearls, they seem to all roll somewhat similar. Do you feel like the Code Black and the Halo Pearl are going to be somewhat similar, or do you think there's going to be a distinct difference? I really think they might be pretty close, but you might see a couple more boards out of the, the Halo Pearl, just because it's got a little bit stronger core in it. Um, that could, anything in the Code X, code, code Line, was more of a longer, smoother reaction from the back, um, especially my Code X that I have. Um, but it's, it's never bad to have a little bit more shape in your bag. Right. Um, uh, the other new release, the Supersonic, I know you really, really liked the Sonic. Um, so what do you think about this ball? Are you, are you excited for it? I'm pretty excited for this ball. Um, it's, I mean, it's same probably going to be close to the same motion as the uh, original one but it's got a stronger cover it's got that physics cover on it um which anybody knows me i like that physics it's really good you seem to strike um, a lot with that ball yeah it's at times whenever that physics is a little bit too strong um, at least because that asymmetrical block um, i'll have that symmetric iq iq block um it's gonna be pretty nasty <laughs> i Personally, whenever I first saw that ball, um, I was sitting in school and I was going through Storm's website and I found this ball and I saw it and I started looking over it and I watched the review, um, the, the one review that was on there about it with uh, AJ Chapman, excuse me, um, and instantaneously I thought of the original Asylum. Um, I know you, you know this, but um, what, I, I won Junior Gold in the U12 division when I was 12 years old in 2015, and I threw the Asylum on the TV show. Um, this Supersonic looks awfully close to it. Numbers-wise, it's a little bit different, but that motion looks very similar. Very smooth off of the spot, um, not 
not so jerky like some of the some of the symmetric dull balls are nowadays. Um, so definitely looking forward to finding this ball and getting that one into my bag. So um, and finally to uh, finish this off, I wanted to ask you, and I'll answer the same as well. What is your favorite storm bowling ball of all time? Storm or roto grip bowling ball of all time? Yeah, she put me on the spot. Um, tough question, I know. It's a tough question. I mean, there's kind of a tie, but I mean, there, there, I mean, there's so many good bowling balls that I threw back on day, uh, especially in that 2009 area um, or in 08 also. Um, Man, I feel like I know. What I mean, doing. I feel like I know one of the choices. I know that. Do I just have to give you one? Um. What I'll give you a symmetric and, a, and an asymmetric. Okay. I'll give you that. That's fine. Go ahead. That seems fair enough. Right? So we'll go with the favorite symmetric, and you, I gave, kind of gave it away with the uh, time period. Original high road. Original high road. That ball, I mean, still to this day, they still make it. Um, longest running, longest running uh, modern bowling ball on the market. It's been out for nearly 11 years or maybe maybe it's past 11 years i'm not quite sure um, i think we're up to 10 now 10 okay we're up to 10. um but yeah that's that's the favorite symmetric um just you can't beat that wall motion right you can't it's it's very very um, controllable so and i mean you you already know my choices i mean um, but for all you guys out there my my favorite asymmetric I shot a lot of my honor scores with it when I was a youth bowler. Was that was that virtual energy? <laughs> I wish you. Could, I wish they still make that thing again. Oh man, that ball rolls so good. Um, we were actually cleaning my our my closet out one time. Uh, and then the last couple of months, we actually found one that was sitting in the closet. I didn't even know if I still had it. Oh really? Uh huh. Yeah, we pitch plug pitch plug the thumb in it because um, that a its system in it, which I still threw right now. Um, threw it, still rolls like it does. I mean, it's, the oil is different from this time period to back then, but it still gives you that good motion. Yeah, I, if I remember right, correct me if I'm wrong, we found two of them. Found a one that was uh, usable, and then we found one that unfortunately had cracked. Um, yeah, the, the one that we found cracked was that uh, was that one from the youth days? Um, yeah, that, yeah. That, that makes me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not that old. Um, so, since you've answered, I'll go ahead and answer the question as well. Um, symmetric and asymmetric. The symmetric question—that's that's a hard one. Um, I have two symmetric balls that I really, really liked. Uh, I hinted at it earlier. The original Asylum. Got one sitting right there. Um, personally, that ball was amazing. Um, it, you know, every time that I got into trouble, it was kind of like urethane for you. It was your bailout ball. I could always bail myself out 240, 250 if I needed it with that ball, or if I needed, you know, if we we're bowling something a little tougher and needed, you know, 200, 210 was the scoring pace. I could almost always get there with that ball. Um, the other one that I'm talking, that I'm thinking about, is the IQ2 or solid. You can't beat it. It's I've had probably eight or nine 300 games with it, two or three 800s with it, um, three 300s in a day with it, in one day in a matter of two hours. Um, you know, it's it's like the modern asylum almost. You know, if you if you need to bail yourself out, that's kind of what you throw. Um, you know, it's you, you always know what it's going to do, and it never really takes off off the spot, but it never really misses it, too. And then, asymmetric speaking, no, I, I don't throw very much, very many asymmetric bowling balls. Um, I know you throw a lot of them back with your speed, kind of a lack of rev rate, you throw, excuse me, more, uh, more of the asymmetrics. But I would have to say, on the asymmetric side, either, either the no rules, or the code black, um, you know. I, I don't throw very many asymmetric bowling balls, but those ones really stood out. Um, if I if I needed something strong and 
to get through the fronts. Both of those rolled really good. Uh, they got down the lane pretty good. Um, so, a little, mine's a little more modern than yours, but there's nothing wrong with that. So, again, Blake, thank you very much for being here. I appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, appreciate no problem. And for myself, I'm Spencer Robarge. Have a good day.